and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Bant Flicker. It's our first donation deck of the day. We got two donation decks, and then we're going to play a couple of decks in ranked also. This deck is all about enter the battlefield creatures, creatures with enter the battlefield effects, and flickering them. Um, we have both Flicker of Fate, which we played an Azorius Flicker deck before, and Flicker of the Fate was super impressive, so I'm excited about this one. We got those, and then, of course, Thassa. Thassa is like our main way to be re to um, flicker our own creatures. Charming Prince can do that as well. Um, and so we're just going to try to grind our opponent out with all of these uh, value creatures, just entering the battlefield getting us that value and then uh, flickering them for even more. You know, stuff like Elite Guard Mage, gain three life, draw a card. Ooh. But if you have that and you, you know, flicker with Asa at every end step, you just keep gaining three life, drawing a card every turn. That really adds up. We got some removal uh, creatures. Also, we got a couple Wicked Wolf. Even even though we're not doing food stuff, Wicked Wolf is still, you know, like a ravenous chupacabra almost. You know, you can ki like there's a lot of small creatures in standard that you can kill with Wicked Wolves. We got a couple of those. We got a Tulsimer um, as well, and then some Cavalier of Dawns. So we got some good removal uh, for creatures, and Cavalier of Dawn could be any permanent. Dream Eater can bounce any permanent um, and do some surveilling for us. And then we have Agent of Treachery that can steal anything also. And of course, Knight of Autumn blows up artifacts and enchantments. So, you know, we got good interaction, and we're just going to be trying to outlast all of our opponents. So that's that's the, the goal of the deck. All right, so let's give it a try. So just like we always do donation decks, we're going to play until uh, we win five or lose two, whatever happens first. All right, we got a new donation deck for the first slot tomorrow. Perfect. All right, I'll write you down Snake Spur. I think it's Snake Spur. All right, so first slot tomorrow. Yeah, Fibbletip works with Thassa. Yep. Yeah, Thassa's not a spell, so that second ability doesn't trigger. All right, so what's our donation deck here? All right, so best of three, okay. And it's going to be Abzan Enchantments. Awesome. Awesome. All right, we'll keep it. Charming Prince, you know, has like the scry ability to help you hit land drops, but then Fibblethip also draws the card to help you hit land drops. The Omen of the Sea we can use to, to scry and draw for more looks at land, so... Don't have to worry too much about keeping this two-lander. Oh, there you go, Storm. You you can do it. Where are you at right now on the ladder? That's right. Like today is the last day of the season. We'll have a couple of rank decks to play to to make sure that we're in the top, whatever we need to be in. Um. I kind of want to Omen of the Sea first, honestly. I don't need to like. I know it's. I know it has flash, but I really don't need to wait. Okay, good. Good. We Omen of the Seed. Scrat even farther because we we want to hit that land. Cool. Gold one. Three ticks away from level up to plat. You can do it, Storm. You can do it. <laughs> so we're playing against Esper. Well, hopefully this is the land. Wow, still not a land. We've seen seven cards. <laughs> We've gone through seven cards since our opening seven. You know, it says 48, but remember we put the two at the bottom, so basically 46. So we've gone through 14. 
And we still did not hit a land. <laughs> it's crazy. Alright, so shuffles. Those two spells back. Yeah, this has been very unlucky with lands. should have just that second green for Wicked Wolf. Really should have just ticked off Ashiok, honestly. This. I guess I should not have played my land, I guess. I love your desperation. It's not too big of a deal. It's not like five mana we get to suddenly double, double spell unless we draw something and, and uh, it allows us to. I was hoping they weren't going to attack, but you know, it's pretty likely they were going to. So we need that blue source. Yuck out of here. And I do have an enchantment in my graveyard. So they kill Cavalier of Dawn, we get to put Thassa back into our hand. So that's not so bad. We'll draw the land this time. We're at 34 cards in library. Want them to get rid of spell, spell. Ugh, another blue land. Wow. This is really unlucky with lands today.
Sure. Get a ley line. Yay. Finally. Alright, I think I want to Dream Eater. Even though I, I could just Thassa plus Flicker of Fate. But I want to get rid of this 2-3 that's exiling my whole library. I'm not worried about the 3-3. Three, three. Wow. No lands? Uh, I only have 26 cards in library. So I don't want to just like get rid of everything. I'm going to do next turn Thassa plus Flicker of Fate. I honestly don't want to... I just, I just don't want to get rid of my cards. I'm, I'm worried about milling out. It's probably silly to worry about that. Probably silly. Agonizing Remorse, Sorcery Speed. I could do that instant speed. SSJ2, thanks for that resub. Thank you so much there, SSJ2. It's our first sub of the day. Okay, so we're going to cast Thassa. Resolves, we're going to attack. Destroy all creatures. Do I... I think, I'm just going to play Fibble Thip, I think. So the sorcery speed thief of sanity. That's good. Get the wicked wolf it. All right. Um, I don't know. I like our chances. Let's see. Dovin's Veto. 
Could be coming in probably instead of Knight of Autumn. We don't need as many Wicked Wolves and Tulsimers either. There we go, and just play the three Vetoes. Because they did have Thief of Sanity. Do need to make sure we can kill Thief of Sanity. But we still got a good amount of removal and stuff. All right. Hey, Soul Farmer. Thanks, Mayors. Oh, that's awesome. Good job. The Demir Reanimator got you from silver all the way to platinum. Good job. This is very similar to last game, keeping a land light hand because we have the card draw. I'm hoping we can find lands anyway. So if they take Charming Prince, we go get Island. If they take Fibblethip, we go get Plains. Fibblethip, so let's go get planes. Charming Prince with the Scry 2. Should set us up to hitting more land drops. Perfect. Hey, Steve, I'm doing good. Thank you. Hey, Soul Farmer. And Sinful Gamer. Aw, you make my day better, too, being here. Thank you. So they got a bunch of one-for-ones with the discard, but with our creatures like Elite Guard Mage being two-for-ones, should be able to make it up, make up for it. Like, if they have another discard and take Elite Guard Mage, then I'll say, like, why do I have that land? Keo, awesome. Thank you so much. Brand new Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel. Perfect time to draw Dovin's Veto when they have a Teferi in play. Shock's still very good. Difficult to beat. Wish we had another white source. Which I guess is kind of my fault for putting it down to the bottom.
Hey, Mike. Oh, your fears are given. Let's try oh. this. Where are those lands at? Not around here. What's the reason I never draft? It's because uh, I get much less viewership drafting than I do playing constructed. I guess I could keep that there if they're going to attack with the 2-3. We know for sure they're attacking with the two three. Hey, that was uncalled for. Closing's going really good, Mike. Yeah, we're uh it's basically all all done. Um now all it is. Um So I wanted Ashiok to minus, not Teferi minus, which is why I attacked Teferi. So if I attack Ashiok, then Teferi minuses, and Ashiok ticks up and makes another two three. Don't worry, I got this. Um, the mortgage company has sent all the documents, everything on over to the seller, no, and so all it is is for me to. They have to contact me at some time to, you know, sign all the the documents and stuff. But that's all it is is the closing dates for tomorrow. It's all all ready to go. Don't need a flicker of the Wicked Wolf. So like actual moving, I'm I'm planning on not not this next week, but the week after. Like in the middle of the week, Tuesday through Thursday. <laughs> Welcome to my domain, Plains Walker.
Um, yeah, Photon, I, I sent oh, the, I've done the hero like, I, I tried getting the cardboard Only live, but it does, like, I, I uh, never heard from them. not something that you can just sign you know just use you have to email them about setting up and everything So bounce that, attack here, where we can either kill Ashiok or they block with Diva Sanity. So it'll be kind of surprising if we win this, considering they've activated Planeswalkers, like, you know, what, 20 times this game? Probably. Alright, got those out of here. I didn't attack with the Guard Mage because if they just let the attack go through and then use removal for a uh, the Dream Eater, I don't want them to just attack. Yeah, I don't want them to be able to hit with Eva Sanity. Got any enchantments in here? Nope. Let's slow this down. There goes nothing. the Agents of Treacheries. Hey, Raul. That's more like it. Just take a land. Let's just scry. Well, 
we can't play instants. All right. Out grinded Esper, even though they activated millions of planeswalkers, still out grinded them. Yeah, I could have grabbed a land by flickering agent, but just decided to scry instead. Yeah, Thassa, yep. If Thassa's in your graveyard, it's Thassa's an enchantment, so you gotta bring it back with the Cavalier of Dawn. Cavalier of Dawn dies. What's this green card doing in our blue-white deck? Poor deck building. Scry. Um... It's not a land, but it's like the next. It's like maybe one of our best cards. I'm gonna keep the Thassa. <laughs> All right, I guess I guess we are playing against somebody playing Hushbringer. That's great. It's it's not great. That was that was a sarcastic great. I need this absorb back. My only way to deal with it this isn't a fight is bounce it with the fairy and then recounter it with absorb. Yeah, it is our, our nemesis, Hushbringer. People, before we play the deck, people were like, you're going to lose the Hushbringer. And I was like, we're not going to face Hushbringer. Nobody plays the card. Hey, Radical. Well, I feel pretty silly for putting this Absorb down to the bottom now. If I would have known they had Hushbringer. Everything shut down right now. This isn't great. I'm um, I'm not gonna win this unless I get rid of Hushbringer somehow.
doing great. Yeah, I don't think Deckmaster has added the, the new set yet. All right, so we're bringing in Time Wipe. It's going to be our main way to deal with that card. Yeah, I mean, that's the plan. It's just time wipe. Not the best plan, but it's the plan I got. The plan I got. Hey, Joe. No, I mean, no, I'd rather have Wicked Wolf than Questing Beast. And Questing Beast isn't outracing them. Yeah, I just I word out arrow. Yeah, I guess maybe I should be keeping arrow. That's true, because it would just go into play and maybe attack and stuff with it. Yeah, that's a good call. Maybe I should just be keeping it. Digging towards time wipe in case they do have Hushbringer again. Good. Not Hushbringer. Bad. I don't know what I'm doing to, do, to beat that right now. Time wipe. Yeah. I'm not sad today. Smart Geo, I'm not I wouldn't say I'm sad. I don't have you know, I don't have as much energy. But I'm not sad.
<clears throat> so with the elite guard mage Thassa combo, you know, gaining another three life here, basically I can take another hit from this stuff before I have to time life. Hey, how's it Boo. So our time wipe can get the Daxos also. Does make our life worse that we don't get the elite guard mage anymore though. Okay, one one win away from leveling up. You you can do it, Storm. You got it. Scratu. A flicker. I want the flicker. And yeah, I probably just want the Charm Prince too. So we'll gain three life with this flickering of the Charming Prince. Hey, hey Plitha. All right, gain three. Two. There we go. Those are the cards I want. No, tokens do not count. Well, I guess it depends on the token if it counts towards devotion. This this token, you know, you just count mana symbols in the top right hand corner. There's no mana symbols on that, that token, so it doesn't count. But tokens that are copies of things. I forgot to tap the 1-1 one, one with my 4 open mana while I was talking. Oh well. Yeah, as well. I mean, that's that's where I'm from. So I'm just moving back home. To our friends and family. Okay, so let's get the Uro back in, and also with these banishing lights, I want some Knight of Autumns. Knight of Autumn, of course. We can't destroy Heliod, but we can destroy um, Daxos or the the one mana one one also. So maybe I need these things. Um, I was thinking like Deputy get rid of. I should probably still play Deputy. Can get rid of a big pride mate or get rid of a Heliod. I'm gonna take out Cavalier of Dawn. You know, that's another way to kill a big pride mate. All right, maybe we get rid of a Fibble Thip, a Guard Mage. Did 
now to three Knight of Autumn. Get rid of a Dream Eater. No, I'm not. I'm not sad today. For the millionth time, I I do feel just a little tired, and you know it's just like one of those days. But I'm I'm not sad. We'll take out an Agent Treachery also. <laughs> yeah, the Astro situation is pretty crazy. Um, yeah, I'm a Rangers fan, so, you know, rivals of the Astros, so I'd have no, no sympathy towards them whatsoever. Probably shouldn't keep this. This didn't really get better. But I don't want to go to five. Alright. Time wipe is the card that we're going to be digging for. It's a really important one for sure. Orb's not bad. It's not time wipe though. Yep, we need time wipe. On time wipe. Oh, so, sorry, Stanley. Sorry, you had the the flu. I hope you feel better. And take a good care of yourself. Definitely need a time wipe. This would be perfect time right here. No. Yeah, we can buy a little time with the Flicker of Fates. It's 
up, Storm, with that resub? Just reached platinum for the first time. That is awesome. Congratulations. Good job. That's amazing. It says, thanks, Todd, for being the perfect background noise. Oh, you're welcome. So what to do here? I think I think we're gonna have Knight of Autumn as a chump blocker and then also Uro we can block with. Yeah, so block something with Uro and chump with Knight of Autumn. Everything will be fine if we stand together. I am proud of those who walk beside me. I I mean, Deputy doesn't do anything when it enters. I can't Deputy the Flyer. Shockland. Why a Shockland? Why bounce? Hushbringer. Because. Hmm. So if I would be able to bounce Hushbringer, Deputy this thing, attack, gain three. Hmm. I mean, I, I don't think there's any out besides Time Wipe, right? Like, I, I don't think I can Teferi and Deputy and stay alive. I mean, I guess... All right, so I Teferi bounce the Hushbringer, draw a... draw Deputy, get rid of, like, the Pride Mate or the Heliod. Get rid of, like, the Pride Mate. Then I guess I have two blockers for these two. So that's an out. So I can either try to Teferi and do that. Or I just try to draw, or I just attack here and try to time wipe. I'm going to attack here, try to time wipe. Did not work. I, I just don't think I'm really like winning that that scenario anyway, and, and it looks like I wasn't. I didn't draw an untapped land anyway, so like that, the Teferi line first didn't really work.
This is my only hope. Yeah, this is my only hope right now is that they don't have another mana symbol to turn on the Heliod. I mean, I don't really have much much hope. Of course. But this is the only play that could keep me alive. Oh. I have lost too much. Never mind. All right, well, we got Hushbringered. I didn't I didn't look at their live total for ult to Johnny, but oh well. We got a pack. Storm Herald. All right, we did get Hushbringered. Yep. So yeah, I guess we need like the card the best card against Hushbringer that we could be playing is um, the two mana artifact that exiles a creature that costs three or less. That card. Glass Casket. That's the name of it. That'd be our best card to be playing that point but well this is interesting this looks like it looks like John sacrifice where you know Knight of autumn is probably really important and I think I want to be able to you know I would normally just play charming prince there and scry too but I think I want to be able to flicker Knight of autumn to be able to destroy another artifact or enchantment the only thing that kind of gives us pause, of course, is that I don't have a fourth land right now. It's a pretty big game getting rid of, getting rid of trailer crumbs. I think they're gonna be playing something pretty sweet, and I want I'm just gonna absorb it. I guess not. Yeah, because Flicker of Fate, um, it flickers it immediately. It doesn't do it until end of turn, so it's a lot better for combat. Um, like where the Teferi's Time Twist, it exiles, and then it comes back at end step. And so you can't really use it as like a removal spell in combat like you can with Flicker of Fate. And also, Time Twist is... I think Time Twist is a little awkward with Vasa. I think. Um, what about Justicer's Portal? I, I guess I don't remember the exact text on that card, to be honest.
Okay, so portal is just creatures. So it doesn't do an enchantments. No, I like the I like being able to do enchantments because you know flickering omen of sea is really nice. It's certainly something we do quite a bit. Um, I wish my opponent would have played something into my absorb. They've played this very well against me. But now, even if they have a Corvold, at least we have Cavalier of Dawn that can kill it, but... Oh gosh, just a Garrick. Yeah, they, they played that really well against the Counterspell, just sitting back. Ouch. Yeah, I'm gonna play this very well. I guess I should be Omen, just playing Omen of the Sea. They played this game well. I wish I would have just played my 2-3 lifelinker uh, you you know, right away. Instead of holding up the absorb. Implode. Pretty dead.
Yep, one point of damage. Need them to cast a spell. They, you know, the Cauldron Familiar has me dead right now. I need them to cast a spell, and then I get to absorb it. Because all they have to do is just attack with Cauldron Familiar. I have to block because I'm at one, and then whenever I block, they bring it back. So I need them to cast a spell. Awesome. That's a start. Now I need to draw an untapped land. It doesn't, not a shock land, just a nice little basic. Will do. Yeah, nice basic land. Shock land. Uh... No, I don't shock. All right, let's see if we have a better play than Thassa. What is the Teferi doing? There's no time wipes in the deck. This is game one. What are we doing with Teferi next turn? Probably... Probably nothing. Actually, yeah, we'll keep it. Right, right, that was a bad attack. Bad attack. Bad attack. Should be at three. If I just don't attack, I'm at three. So now I'm at two. Yeah. Ugh, that was a bad attack. All right, so intervention, return to nature. We almost stabilized there.
these Knight of Autumns. Almost stabilized. Hey, thanks, Burr. Yeah, the uh, the the donation deck information is down below. Um, yeah, there you go. There's the there's the link, and just just put in a link to the deck list and let me know when you want me to play it, what day, what time slot you want me to play the deck. And it's as easy as that. It's just twenty dollars. Um. Besides that, you can always, uh, you know, use the Discord channel, put an index in there. And sometimes, sometimes I, I use decks from the Discord channel. Yeah, Matthew, that's basically what the Soul Tai deck that we have later on. It's this I ha I li labeled it Soul Tai food, but it's basically Soul Tai liquor. Best possible start again. Goose into trailer crumbs. That's the best turn one, turn two play you can have. Yeah, both games. We have a good hand, though. I mean, I can't, like... You know, I'm not saying that we don't have a good hand. Like, we have a good hand, also. Perfect. Got rid of that Paradise Druid. Definitely wanted to see that block. Guard Mage. Teamer ramp control with four dream trawlers.
That's a... So should we have Wicked Wolf fight Mayhem Devil? Yeah, I could flicker the wolf, have it fight the devil. I don't know, we'll just wait, we'll just play this Thassa. Gain more life, draw more cards. This is uh, Muse, Knights of Cydonia. Boo. Guess I should have killed the Mayhem Devil before. Do six damage. Hey, darkness. All right, we'll be, we'll be able to take out two Witches Ovens. So that's good. Yeah, we have we have one Heliod's Intervention in here, but we're about to take out two Witches Ovens. Yeah, White, White just doesn't usually get instants, but yeah, yeah, Decree could have been an instant. Probably also with, you know, I hope Grasp is an instant. Um, but I guess with the exile being better than destroy, they made it sorcery speed. This might be a bad idea.
Hmm. Yeah, basically forcing them to use one point of damage here because this will let me have Wicked Wolf kill Mayhem Devil, where otherwise they could do two damage to Wicked Wolf with the Cauldron Familiar bringing it back, and then also sack Bronson on and do a third point of damage. So this is my only way to really get Mayhem Devil off the battlefield. bring anything back I don't think it's a good one do not want to uh, flicker Uro with Asa because then it just goes away. So, submit zero. Oh my gosh. Deck. Yeah, I was gonna. Yeah, that, that's my plan. Dream Eater, Devil, and then Knight to destroy Oven. But honestly, maybe this was, maybe this was a mistake. Maybe I should have Knight destroy Oven first, and then they wouldn't be able to kill my Dream Eater. Maybe that was a mistake, honestly. Maybe I should have done it the other way, honestly. And they conceded. Boom. Destroyed enough stuff. Destroyed enough stuff. And they're like, I'm done. This has been a really cool match. This has been a good one. Um, 
Well, Dream Eater looked good. I want another Dream Eater in here. Or another Teferi or Tristani. Like, Fibbletip's just going to die, right? I, I guess I'll keep Fibbletip. Yeah, Night of Autumn blew up a whole bunch of stuff. No, I'm moving to the area I grew up, Fintech. The area that I'm at right now is just a place that I I moved here for a job before I don't have the job anymore. And, you know, I just dream I'm moving back to where I have friends and family and everything. Where I want to live. Play Charming Prince, or do I save it? I gotta play it. The problem with playing it is it's a whole lot of shocking, though. Because, you know, shocking next turn for Night of Autumn... Probably shocking the other the next turn after that. Lasso shocks. I won't forgive this. Hey, thank you so much there, Frisky Biscuits. Thanks for gifting out a sub. And welcome to the channel FinTech. Alright, Vraska's gonna be a huge problem. be a bigger problem. Don't dwell on what's about to happen. Mayhem Devil. Well, GG. Vraska Corvold. A little tough. And now with Mayhem Devil, I, I don't, don't really see how we can win this. No, I don't I don't own a house right now. I'm I'm going and I'm purchasing a house now. I can go longer. Scan bot there goes nothing. I'm still here. I wish I would hit a land drop, but I'm sure my opponent was saying the same thing. Why buy a house when you can buy a hype boat? Some 
Sometimes sacrifice is necessary. I thought they were gonna sacrifice the mayhem devil, like they were starting to target that. I would like to play Thassa, but I can't just play Thassa because of Assassin's Trophy. So with... Because if I would have just played Thassa, they Assassin's Trophy my 2-3, I'm dead. Um, so now it's... Playing Knight of Autumn and gaining four life is the safer play to make sure I stay alive for another turn. And then just blocking where... Yeah, I should just do that. I don't know. I mean, I could do like the two counters and try to block, but obviously they can rask a minus and kill it. Then I'm down to one. No, if they have Noxious Grasp, they would have used that instead of Assassin's Trophy. But you probably said that before that. Calyx and Vraska. Yeah, I could see I could see playing green and Doom for Tool decks for Calyx and Vraska. It depends on you know, like the rest of your mana symbols, how easy that is. Um, those are both four mana cards, which Doom for Told is also four mana, so it's so it's like how many four drops we're really playing. So you want to probably play like four mana wraths also. Um, so that's a problem with all those cards you said. Hey, Night Owl. Thanks for the, the resub there with Twitch Prime. I guess I can't play Return to Nature also, can I? I don't have another forest. And there's just not a way for me to, to do that. Well, we last long. We lasted longer than I thought we would this game. Yes, I'm dead on the battlefield. But I'm going to make my opponent kill me. Don't dwell on what's about to happen. Those two assassin's trophies were were pretty clutch. Couldn't just couldn't deal with this mayhem devil. They didn't. They didn't just kill me. 
just attacking would have killed me. And they didn't do that. Do we have a chance still? Are we kind of doing it? Are we kind of doing it? Wow! Wow! All they had to do was attack. They had four attackers. They had, they had four attackers. I had three blockers. All they had to do was attack. They didn't do it. How was that two? And they had four four attackers. They, they could also just minus Raska and made it four attackers to two blockers. That was another way. Yeah, I stepped out. Yeah. Because I tapped out for agent treachery. <laughs> my yeah my opponent played a corvold instead of attacking with paradise druid and so then then i had three so they tapped the paradise druid for manus then i had three blockers for their three creatures for their three attackers that were left and so i'd stayed alive at one <laughs> so we're still going Yeah, I probably need a little bit more anti-aggro for, for best of one with the deck. Maybe maybe like one or two time wipes main. Okay, we'll start with the Temple of Plenty. We'll keep that. Yeah, not, no, you can't get the red and green Nyx lands yet. Hello. Oh, I guess I got a shock to play this Fibble Thib. Oh well. <laughs> Sambin, thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Storm count six for today. Pull up the meta decks. Here you go, Air Arrow. Meta game. Awesome, Bertalux. Congratulations. Hope you have fun with it. I'm gonna get another green source. 
and play the guard mage. Waffle Slapper, new t tier one sub. Love it. Thank you so much there, Waffle Slapper. Seventh sub of the day. Scry before or after playing this thing? I think after. We'll keep it absorb. Um. I don't. I don't know why they didn't. Yeah, they didn't activate their Castle Vantress. I guess we're playing a Wicked Wolf. We need one more card in our graveyard to uh, get Uro back. And there's another card in our graveyard. Scry first. See what we got. I would like that card. All right. So do I? Do I have Wicked Wolf fight the Brazen Borrower? Or do I just play Thassa? Or do I just play Wicked Wolf without fighting? Yeah, there's no better targets for Wicked Wolf, but do I, do I actually want to trade? You know, I'm at 26, they're at 18. I'm going to play Thassa. All right, 
right, looks like I should have played Wicked Wolf. <clears throat> they would have just bounced the, the Wicked Wolf anyway, though. Well, maybe not. Because they did want to bounce the Uro. Yeah, like they they could have had like you know a lot more scries with those reclamations, but I'm glad they didn't. I don't need more of those. Good old fibble tip, draw some cards. They need another green land before they can play the Uro. I was wondering why they weren't playing the Uro. I guess that's that's why. And it looks like they, they got expansion explosion, so the game's over. Now they got infinite cards. Um, this tie was from Spreza. Was from this was a Spreza box tie. Okay. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. I could take the Castle Vantress so they don't get to descry all the time. Is one option. But probably the better option is taking a wilderness reclamation. Boo. Card's really good. And I guess if, if we get to play it and it resolves and we get to flicker it, you know, if we could take both reclamations, that would be ideal. No, I don't have any reclamations in the team of Ramp Tech. It's not like an instant speed deck. Yep. Yep, Storm. Your wrath is the reason why Reclamation's tier one again. Can't bring back a row yet. Need need one more card in the graveyard.
we're gonna have some vetoes more night of autumn return to nature um i guess i could play a heliod's intervention also really gotta get rid of that thing take out wicked wolf tulsimer I worry about three ones also. Hmm. Um. Take out a Charming Prince, a Dream Eater, a Cavalier of Dawn. And here we go. I looked at the flicker of fate. I was thinking that maybe I should have trimmed one of those. But you know, like flickering, like whether they, whatever they brazen borrower could be really nice. Come on, draw land. Yay. Um, yeah, like Arc Arcbow would work in the deck. It's kind of hard to, to fit it in, but yeah, it would it would work. No, this is not typical for Magic to have so much mana available in decks. Yeah, with like how there's um yeah reclamation fires all the ramp that's in standard no i don't this is something that's really started this oh right that thing does that that's something that's really started this um you know basically like the standard season like this is kind of an anomaly i don't i don't know if this is just like the design moving forward they just love having all of this uh ramp i don't i don't and free mana and stuff i don't know All right, we're just going to move on with the zero castables. Obviously, I, I needed that Teferi to resolve. That was my point of keeping that hand. So there we go. There's Bant Flicker. Um, it did It did okay. It felt like we were missing... I don't know. I don't know what we were missing. Um, you know, like we lost, like our one match that we lost was to Hushbringer, which, you know, Hush Hushbringer is just really difficult to beat. I think that, I think that these Deputy of Detentions should be glass caskets in the sideboard. And then, you know, obviously, you know, we, we lost that last match. But really, we should have lost the, the one before that, too. We struggled hitting land drops a lot. Like, with some of our losses. Which I wouldn't expect us to struggle that much. Um, 
I yeah, I don't have any. I don't think Lavinia needs to be in the deck. Um. Yeah, I like. I mean, yeah, I like Next Blue Mansion. It's going to be in our Teamer Ramp deck later. Yeah, I mean, this isn't really an Anissa Hydro Crisis deck. I haven't been. I haven't been as impressed with Nissa recently. Um, but yeah, I could see playing, you know, like a Hydro Crisis in here. This is pretty similar to the Azorius Flicker that we played a week or two ago, and I and I really liked this one also. I don't know, what's like there's not really like that much difference. Uh, I I get I think we just got pretty unlucky with like our lands. A lot of the time, because I think this is probably an upgrade over that deck. You know, having Wicked Wolf and Tulsimer being able to have some removal spells. <laughs> Ban Forest. Hey, thanks, thanks to the reset, uh, Dark Side. Um, yeah, I could definitely play Gilded Goose. Goose is a good thing to flicker with Thassa. That's absolutely true. Uh, kind of have to change it to be more green heavy, uh, playing Gilded Goose. So it's probably like not playing Cavalier of Dawn and, and stuff like that. You know, like you have to you you'd have to adjust the mana. You know, you I don't think you're playing Absorb with Gilded Goose. Absorb also like wasn't really that spectacular for us. I don't know. I like a lot of the stuff that we have going on here. I think you know, like the I think just losing to Hushbringer, I can kind of like throw that out. Like, fine, we lost to Hushbringer. Um, but then against Jund, it was. You know, like we struggled hitting lands a couple of the games, and hey, I've had. And then that reclamation. I mean, yeah, they had the the double reclamation game one, and then game two. I didn't have any lands, and they had reclamation again. Um, we didn't have like the best removal for big creatures, like creatures that Wicked Wolf didn't kill. Maybe this deck would just want like some banishing lights instead of wolves. I don't know, but it's pretty fun to play. I'm not that big on the questing beast in the sideboard. If you want more si sideboard slots to find more thing, like to uh, fit in some more interaction, you know, if you want like some more, you know, like mystical dispute stuff like that. I think I, I think questing beast is. Is not really a card I'm that interested in in the sideboard, and there's three of them in there, so that's that's a lot of sideboard slots. But yeah, I think there's a lot of good stuff here. Um, I don't think you can really play like you can play Risen Reef instead of Absorb, I guess. Uh, I don't think that would really improve the deck, honestly. Risen is pretty slow. I think, I don't know, I think Absorb is pretty powerful. <clears throat> but that, that is an option if you, if you want to take out Absorb. That just gives you less interaction then. But that, that's definitely an option. <clears throat> um, Frilled Mystic? Yeah, I mean, you could. Could play Frilled Mystic, uh... I mean, it's, you can't really play Frilled Mystic and Cavalier of Dawn. Again, you'd have to change the mana base completely, and you'd have to, you'd have to change up a lot to be able to support Frilled Mystic. But that's, an, that's an option, I suppose. I'd, I don't think that's an upgrade over Absorb with, the current, with this current list. Uh, Esper doesn't really have better removal than green, like with creatures, with stuff that to flicker with Asa, like Esper doesn't like wicked wolf is the ravenous chupacabra of the format like going esper for better removal you'd just be playing spells you're not playing things to flicker all right but yeah so that's oh man we've been playing this deck for two hours all right we got to move on to our other deck so there we go so that's bant flicker so those of y'all watching on youtube hit that like button over there and of course leave those comments but thank you so much for watching and i will see you for the next video